all doing really well and welcome back to a new weekly vlog video so i thought i'd start this week's vlog on a saturday as i'm off to finally get my nails done so i've gone to somewhere different i haven't actually been here before but i saw a few recommendations on instagram so it was a bit of a drive from me as you can see it's like in a barn it's in like a countryside in tamworth um so i've seen like loads of things on instagram and then one of my friends went here as well i thought i'm gonna get my nails done go and get a pedicure as well um, and get like a nice gel manicure so i'm gonna go for a like a nice nude colour and then match it on my toes as well because it is spring summer time and obviously pedicure season I want my toes looking all nice for the spring summer so yeah let's go and get these nails sorted After having my nails done this is like an almond like white I think the color was called but it's so so nice it's just so nice having my nails all pampered again I also went for the same color on my toes as well excuse my my all my fake tan has come off so I'm gonna have a bit of a pamper tomorrow and fake tan again but yeah my toes look so so pampered I haven't had a pedicure in so long but I just love when my nails literally match my toes it's just so so nice and obviously excuse the plaster um but again I'm so happy that my toes and fingers are all ready for the springtime <laughs> everybody so it's a brand new week again today is monday and i'm feeling nice and bronze and glowy this morning as i applied some face tanning drops to my face and the tanning water so if you guys watch my march favorites videos i shared the um tan looks tanning water which is my go-to tan it's honestly so so good and um, i've also applied the face drops as well to my face also excuse my plaster still as well but also having my nails done on the weekend again my tan is sort of like my my nails pop a lot more as well um so i use the i'll stand by the window so you can have a closer look um also my freckles are starting to come out now and um, because it's been really nice and sunny but again really natural on my face as well i literally just apply like two to three drops into my moisturizer and i apply my moisturizer just the top of my hand and then mix in the drops and then apply it to my face and then i obviously wash my hands after as well so i don't have any tanning disasters but again it's a really nice natural color i'm wearing the shade medium to dark i'll show you my legs actually let me just come around and show you hugo is just sitting there waiting for me to i'm having a day um editing youtube videos today so he's like ready to go and sit on the desk there with me you're ready to sit in the chair aren't you keeps woofing at me when i was trying to get ready um but i need to get dressed as well as you can see so here are my legs um again really really natural it's not too dark and um, this is what i love about this tank it goes on really naturally Um, also i love my fresh peddy honestly i'm so happy with my toes also my feet always like the tan always clings to that those part of my feet never mind how much moisturizer i put on my feet it always just clings there um but here is the tanning water so this is what i use so this is the tanning water i literally just spritz myself all over section by section and blend it in with a tanning mitt in large circular motions and then to remove any old tan i use the glyco water self tan eraser which is also really really good as well i sort of spray that all over leave it on for like five minutes 
to let it soak off and then I get a damp cloth in the shower and just scrub it off. So yeah, this is really, really good. As you can see, I've got half a bottle left now, but this is the shade medium to dark. And I also then as well, I like to use a gradual in between. Like say I haven't got a time to like redo my tan or do a top up. I like to use this because it's so nourishing, really moisturizing it as well. So I've got half, just under half a bottle of this as well. So again, this is the gradual illuminating tanning lotion. Again, really lovely and you just have to make sure you wash your hands really thoroughly. So yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys my tanning routine. I've also got a moisturizer here, which I use on my dry bits, which is by Bondi Sands. Um, so yeah, I did my fake tan last night on Sunday. I always have a nice pamper on a Sunday and do my tan. But yeah, really happy with the color of it. And again, I'm ready to get my spring shoes out now after having my lovely pedicure on Saturday. So I've quickly just got dressed into my comfies, ready to sit at my desk. And Hugo's just come here to say hello. And I thought I'd show you a new product by Aborian Skincare, because you guys know I spoke to you guys quite a few times about Aborian. I really love their skincare products for a little bit of something on your face. It's very natural. It's non-fussy makeup and very simple. And this is a new launch by them. So this is the new CC Water in the Shade Claire. So I love Aborian for their BB creams, their CC creams. They're just so lightweight, very natural, sort of really even your skin tone out. Again, a really quick alternative to applying like foundation. You can literally just whack it on, put a little bit of bronzer on a bit of blusher on and you're literally good to go it's so quick and definitely no fuss so I thought I'd show you this new launch and apply it with you now so I received this last week and I'll put a bit on my hands so as you can see it has these little beads in and it slowly changes color as well and when you apply it to your face um yeah I just absolutely adore Aborian they're just so so lovely and I thought I'd just share it with you so as you can see I'm blending this in now and it's adapting to the colour of my face. Again, really, really hydrating as well. I really love a sort of water style, like a gel sort of style cream. Actually, when it comes to my um, skincare as well, I really love a jelly texture because it's very hydrating on my skin. Um, and again, my skin is very dry as well. So as you can see, I've just applied that here. Again, really smooth, but it just gives me a bit of something on my face. Like I'm not applying makeup today, but I feel like I just want a little bit of something just to even out my skin tone. I have like tanned as well on my face. You know when you fake tan as well and you sort of, um, it clings to your dry spots. So let me just massage it onto my forehead as well. And then here. So I'm just using the camera lens to apply it, but it's such a lovely product. There we go, that's that all blended in there. So yeah, a really lovely new product from Aborium. Again, I will link it down below for you. Um, like I said, I just really love their skincare and I thought I'd share it with you as well. So I've just had a morning delivery from the H&M PR team, which is for the Lem Lem Times H&M collaboration by Leela Kabide. I think that's how you say her name. But how lovely is this rattan box that it's come in as well? It looks so, so cool. So in here, we have some hand made pasta I mean how amazing is this and then we've also got some more bits here as well there's literally loads of handmade pasta in here there's also a book as well which I can see which is a home style cookery book I mean oh my god this is crazy so basically this collaboration is a joyful laid-back women's collection made from more sustainable materials so yeah how amazing um, I absolutely love when brands do these amazing PR packages. It just feels like so personal and you guys know that I adore H&M like I am yeah I adore H&M so much so to receive this I feel super grateful so I think we have some little napkins in here as well I can see some clothing I think there's some plates yes yeah, so there's some plates just inside here as well which have been wrapped up we have some more of the pasta which oh my god looks crazy there's also some candles in here as well which are also so lovely we also have a olive oil here as well so i'm going to be looking forward to cooking this there's also some recipe cards in here which is also fab. There's some dried basil in there as well. There's also this one, which I think is a nice scarf from the collaboration, as you can see. 
And then there's some more clothing just in here as well. These are spaghetti. Oh my God, there's literally loads. Um, so yeah, this is really, really cool and so lovely from the H&M PR team. I'll try and get this out and show you what this looks like. I'm just getting everything out of the box. I mean, how amazing is this pasta? So there's a nice little pasta dish as well here. Some napkins, there's like spaghetti. We've got olive oil, dried basil. Again, the recipe cards, the candles, and then the clothing is just in here as well. Um, so I think this here is a pair of trousers. I'm going to have to try and hold it with one hand but how lovely is the prints as well. Again it's lovely lightweight linen fabric. So these are some paper bag waist trousers. Of course I will link these down below for you as well. I need to try them on so I might try them on for you later so you can see what they look like. And then of course let me put those ones down there. We have the matching top which goes with this as well which is very very cute. So as you can see, it's like a little matching bandeau top as well to go with this, which look lovely as well. Styled together as a co-op then have like a nice open linen shirt over the top of. And then we've also got the matching. This one is a skirt. So I saw this in store when I went and did my boring um, H&M come shop with me. Um, so this is the skirt which is really, really lovely. So it has like a front slit detail as well. And again, it's really lovely, lightweight linen fabric. And it has this really cute matching top as well to go with it, which is so, so cute. So I really love these style tops. They're just so nice for the summertime and how nice would they look on a beach somewhere. Of course, when we can travel one day very, very soon. But yeah, a lovely collection and perfect for the summertime. And then I think in here as well is another dress. I mean, I love, love this rattan basket. I think a little card has fell off one of the pastas. So I'll clip that back onto just there. I just love how much effort um, brands put into PR packages. It's just, yeah, it's so, so lovely. So I think here we have... A, I'm not sure. Oh, actually, this is a tablecloth. So yeah, this is a premium quality linen tablecloth as well to go with the collection. So yeah, a lovely um, surprise package from the HMPR team. I'm looking forward to trying to get some of these recipes, cooking from this book as well, of course, cooking this lovely freshly made dry pasta. <laughs> So we're just out on a dog walk now, just gone over to our normal walking spot and Hugo is being really annoying. He's stopping he and starting. Through, I say, he hasn't, a bit, I say he hasn't been over here. Yeah, he, he loves coming here, doesn't he? zigzagging, constantly to sniff and wee. And eat rabbit poo, Nothing so just... we're trying to walk and he just wants to Hugo. sniff. I don't mind because I know he's him getting out and doing stuff before we go out, but it's just like sometimes like you walk, you stop, you walk, yeah, you stop, it's no. <laughs> Backwards and it's forwards. It's like you just enjoy it, you just, well, come on then. He just wants to sniff everything, all the animal smells. He hasn't been down here for a while. You would have seen us in other vlogs coming over here. And we came over here when it was really snowy as well, didn't we, yeah. a lot of the time. So it's so nice over here. And obviously it's later now as well. Like it's just gone five o'clock and I just love that. Obviously once he's back from work now, we can come for a walk later on. Cause I found like during the lockdown before when it was so dark all the time, um, we could then, the day felt short, but obviously now it being lighter, it just feels, got more of a day. We can go out for a walk in the, in the it's evening. It's over this bit on the weekends. It's just yeah, full it's of so bikers. busy. It's yeah. full of people riding horses, bikers, bikers. and everything. Um, so we were going to do our food shop today, but then we've just left that because we just couldn't be bothered well, like, to... I didn't finish never late at work and got back and it was just like... So we're going to share and go for a walk with you, go talk and cook, cook dinner and we can sit and watch some more of the uh, bowl Yeah, bowl yeah we're type. watching the bowl type on Netflix, it's so good. I think we're only on season one. Season I think one, I think we're doing episode seven, six, six, six or, or seven, seven last night, but it's really good. We're hooked on it, it's really good. No, it is good to be fair, I like it like, generally. So. Yeah, it's obviously based in, I don't know if you guys, any of you guys have watched it, but it's obviously three girls that live in New York. They work for a magazine, it's quite cheeky, it's really funny as well. And there's hey, how many... serious points, like, yeah, lessons quite, in it yeah, as well. Yeah, but is it, how many we've actually got something decent to watch four, there's four seasons there's 10 With in 10 season episodes. one two and three and 16 in, season in the last four. one so we've actually got something solid to watch because we've been like watching random things then binge watching everything and now we've actually got something solid to watch now i think yes we can have something to look forward to and watch so we find the next series to watch on netflix so 
Yeah, we're just going to carry on walking now. If Hugo wants to walk. walk. Yeah, we've literally <laughs> done 100 metres. Yeah, we've not even walked that far, to be honest. From the car. <laughs> and it's like, it probably took us about 20 minutes and that's not even exaggerating. <laughs> literally not. So we'll just enjoy the nice sunshine whilst it's out and take Hugo for a walk. And happy Wednesday. So I didn't pick up the camera and vlog yesterday as I was editing last week's weekly vlog and then I've been doing some other email bits. It was just a very boring day at my desk. Um, so today is a little bit of a behind the scenes. So I'm filming a 10 ways to wear white jeans for my YouTube which is going to go live on Sunday. So I'll be live before this vlog goes live. I'm also shooting some pictures for Instagram as well. Lots of mirror selfies and whatnot. And obviously I'm wearing my favourite new mom jeans which you would have seen on the Come Shop with me. I'm just obsessed with the fit of them. They keep coming in and out of stock as well. They did come back in stock last week, which I shared on my stories. And some of you guys managed to bag yourselves a pair as well. Um, but of course, I will link them below because honestly, the fit is just so nice. They're very true to size. I'm wearing a size eight. They do sort of loosen a bit with wear, but once you wash them, they're absolutely perfect again. Of course, I'm styling a nice all white look with this trench coat again. But yeah, I thought I'd show you a little behind the scenes of what goes on. I've sort of moved everything around. My dressing table is over there. And um, the mirror's over here. And as you can see, there's an explosion of clothes. Everything just sort of spreads out onto the landing. And I think Hugo's come back now. Hello. So Hugo's just lying there in his bed having a snooze whilst I just film and shoot loads of pictures. He's so well behaved when I'm shooting content. He's just so used to me shooting and taking pictures at home. He just takes himself off to his bed and goes to sleep. So I'm going to carry on doing this. Then we've got to go and do our food shop. And we're also going to pop to Home Sense as well. <laughs> going food shopping and home sense popped into home sense i got that um new gold mirror that you just saw on the panos and also some like plastic goblets and um, like wine glasses for the garden because you guys would have seen all our new outdoor like dining um sets and stuff so got some plastic wine glasses and that's all we need to get now i don't think we need anything else no, they did have the some garden. glass like the jars where you can like do your sangria drinks out oh yeah looking at that, but the, minute the kiln just... the ones yeah we've yeah. spent honestly so much on the garden and stuff it's just so easy just to overspend on home stuff and like going into home since as well they actually had a garden set that was quite similar to ours but it was like all grey um, obviously ours was nice so it looked so much nicer didn't it yeah. but they had quite a few garden furniture bits in there I couldn't really film some bits because I didn't want to film and um, there's quite a few people around walking yeah, around it's fair to them they had a lot of staff on well, we've come like it's about 10 to 7 now and there's a lot of staff on still working yeah yeah they're filling all the shelves up so we managed to find some bits but we're gonna go we was gonna go food shopping and now it's like 10 to 7 and now we can't be bothered we always put off the food shops like all week it's like what day we're gonna go food shopping because i was off work normally we could go in the daytime so now i'm back at work like two... i've got back and i'm just like you can never be bothered and then it's like we'll be back a bit earlier and then it'll be like oh I'll just go another day and we keep putting it off and we've actually got nothing we can have for dinner so we've had to come out but i think we're gonna go and get some food but the only food I think we're going to end up getting is McDonald's. McDonald's isn't it? Close on the way back without stopping. Going too somewhere. far out the way. Yeah. So I think it's going to be McDonald's for dinner tonight. And then we're going to try and go food shopping. Do we say tomorrow afternoon? Yeah, tomorrow afternoon, yeah. Yeah, so we'll go tomorrow afternoon. So it's not as 
busy. It's like ten. It's like seven o'clock now, so we just want to get back and have some food and carry on watching the bowl types. Yeah, we've been so I want uh, <laughs> early shift tomorrow, so I'm gonna get up at quarter to five in the morning to leave for just after five. So I'm like, I don't want to do a late to try and cook dinner. Yeah, it's just too much. If we went shopping now, we'd be cooking dinner at like nine o'clock tonight, and I'm just like, yeah, too grumpy, hungry mode, and I don't want to do that. Yeah, Positive. so I know we'll go and get him some McDonald's. Everybody. So today has been a editing day for me. I've literally edited my ways to wear a pair of white mom jeans for my YouTube. But it's also been quite a emotional day today and a bit of a end of an era. So I obviously, if you guys follow me over on my Instagram and on my YouTube, you would have seen that I've renamed my Instagram. I've changed my handle to my name and I've also changed my YouTube as well, which is actually quite emotional. Um, yes, Hugo, Hugo's just snorting. So I keep sniffing my finger because I've took off my plaster from obviously my cheese grating instant to let it breathe a bit. It's not healing very well. So he keeps sniffing it because he knows that I've hurt myself. He keeps trying to lick it. But yeah, anyway, I thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update as well over on my channel. Because obviously my new channel name is obviously my name, Katie Peak. And I am actually feeling really sad that I've changed my name from The Silver Mermaid. And for any of you guys who don't know the story and why my name was that, it's because basically when I started my Instagram account four years ago today, everyone sort of made an Instagram account alongside their blog. So their Instagram account name used to be their blog name. And obviously my blog was called The Silver Mermaid. And the story behind the name of The Silver Mermaid and why it came about, I know a lot of people always ask me this, was basically when I first started it, um, I basically had, my hair was a lot longer. It was so much longer than this. Obviously when I used to wave it, it was really long. And, and Russ always used to say that I had mermaid hair and that his favorite like Disney like princess is Ariel. So my hair as well used to be just a normal blonde color. So then I decided to go like a silvery ashy blonde and obviously my hair was silver. And when I was thinking of my blog name and was like, well, can't you do something about your hair and about it being mermaid? And I was like, well, what could I use? And he was like, oh, how about the silver mermaid? And I was like, oh my God, yeah. Like it was just so different. Everyone had like really creative names like for their blog names. It was just something really different. And I feel like now, four years down the line, I don't use my blog at all anymore. I feel like I need to revamp my whole website. But of course, I'm always focusing on my YouTube, on my Instagram, and I barely post on my website. So I do need to sort of like revamp that and sort that out. But again, that just takes a lot of time and planning. Um, so yeah, I thought I don't use my blog anymore. Um, I'm going to just change my Instagram to my name because I got to a point where People were asking me like at events as well before COVID, like what's your Instagram handle? And I always used to feel really embarrassed saying the Silver Mermaid. I felt like it sounded not stupid, but I used to sound like, I don't know, I was just a bit self-conscious about it then towards the end. And I was like, I know that's sort of my brand, but I feel like, I feel like my brand has sort of grown with me and my Instagram and my YouTube is growing with me. So yeah, I felt like it was a good time for change. It's also, I feel like a bit of a risk as well. I'm like, oh my God, everyone, please don't forget me. I'm still Katie, it's still me. So of course, if you are following me over on my Instagram and on my other videos, I always share my old handle. Then obviously my new handle, I will link on the screen below. And of course my YouTube channel as well is called Katie Pete Note as well. So yeah, it's a bit of an end of an era and actually saying goodbye to the Silver Mermaid. I feel really emotional 
all about it today but yeah change is good and like I said I want my platform to keep growing with me and change is good so yeah definitely a bit of an emotional one so I thought I'd do a little quick update um so yeah I'm going to carry on doing some editing now Russ is on the way home from work and then I'm going to hit the gym a bit later today because it's gone lovely and sunny I always find between this period of time of the day when I've just had my lunch like between like two and four I literally am just my least productive I'm just sort of in a bit of a slump after eating my lunch because I always like to have a bit of a later lunch um, just so I can get as much done as I can in the morning time but I feel like this afternoon I thought right okay it's hair wash day my hair is super super greasy so I thought I'm gonna need to wash my hair tonight so I might as well go to the gym get all sweaty wash my hair when I get back have a bit of a pamper and then I am good to go for the evening so yeah I'm gonna get ready in a second to go and hit the gym to believe it tough love you take it or leave it washed up don't want you to believe it tough love you take it or leave it week has honestly gone so quickly I don't know where the time has gone this week but I've literally just been filming a reel this morning for my ways to wear a pair of white jeans YouTube video which you would have seen on Sunday so of course if you're not seeing that I will link it just above for you but I thought I'd just show you this lovely dress that's new in from Monkey that's arrived I've also styled this dress with these shoes as well which you would have seen which are also new in from Monkey but how beautiful and very me sorry Hugo just down here snoring um, how very me is this dress so this is a really lovely it's a sea sucker dress it's a gingham print in obviously a lovely beige colour they also do it in a black gingham as well and other colours so I'm wearing a size small again very true to size I really love the sleeves it looks so so cute and also love the length as well styled with these sandals as well from monkey which of course I will link down below again very very comfortable love the square toe but yeah this is like such a me dress it's so so cute I also have some other Nimian bits from monkey as well a pair of jeans um, a pair of shorts and a top so I thought I might as well show you these pieces and include them in this vlog and do a little mini monkey haul for you guys so I'll go and back on the jeans and the top and also the shorts as well so here is the little top it's very very cute how adorable is this little collar you guys know that i love little peter pan collars absolutely adorable of course ignore the creases it has literally just arrived i'm just trying them on i also love as well this little detail which you can just see here with the frill it honestly looks so so cute so i'm trying not to tread on hugo because he has a habit of just being in the way he's really sulking today because I'm taking pictures and filming and he tries to make me feel sorry for him so I end up end up <laughs> straddling him while I'm trying to try this on so these are the jeans as well I just about got in them I think they are a size 20 is it a 27 these are the Yoko fit jeans by Monkey you guys know I love Monkey denim I love their takey fit jeans but I really wanted some nice like wide leg styles they're not too wide leg um, but they're just slightly wide but yeah these are the wide leg I'm not sure what size I got but of course I will link it down below for you I think these are possibly a 27 but they do like I feel like they will loosen um, well, they fit fine but they are just a little bit snug on this area and also on the bum area but I've also been back at the gym again and I find that when I'm training my legs and that again at the gym also training my glutes I find that then I struggle with my jeans so yeah these jeans do feel a little bit snug here and on the bum area but I think they might loosen um, again I really like the wash of them they're sort of like an acid light wash as you can see really nice also a nice length as well I'm obviously wearing a little bit of a heel if I take the shoe off 
these are actually a really good length on me and I am five foot six for reference and these jeans styled with this little top just looks so so cute together so I've just changed out of the jeans and these are a waist 27 so I definitely needed the 28 I don't know if it would have been then a bit too big on the waist and this is what I mean I really struggle with high waist jeans um so I think a 28 would have been okay but I'm wearing the shorts now which are really nice I'll show you in the mirror but these are a size 27 and they fit absolutely fine so it just depends on the fit and style of the jeans and these shorts are really nice I really love like longer length style denim shorts they just look so much more flattering also my bum cheeks aren't on show or anything so there's nothing worse than shorts that are too short these are literally just a high waist pair of denim shorts which are a relaxed fit again i got these in a size 27 again very true to size so you can see here on the waist completely different fit it must be like a different denim like these are exactly the same size but those jeans were a little bit too tight and a bit snug on me but i just really love these style shorts of course style with this little top with a nice shirt with a t-shirt i just love the length of them and how they sort of flare out here as well so i'm gonna carry on shooting some more mirror selfie outfits now because the light is nice as you can see the sun is just creeping through and then me and russ are gonna go and head off to a new outlet so not far from us i'd say around a 10 15 minute drive a new MacArthur Glen outlet is open which is the West Midlands one we haven't actually been yet but I think not all the shops are there like there's still quite a few empty units because so they're building it during Covid and obviously it's been delayed quite a lot and everything with the opening I think it was meant to open 2020 I thought we we're gonna have a nose there tonight well of course we'll take you along with us as well as it's the first time us going there and I haven't seen any vlogs actually of people vlogging that new outlet so yeah I'll take you along with us when we go there <laughs> Round. not everything there's loads of like coming soon so yeah. I think for some places are open in May but as you've seen on the map like everything's not fully open yet which way do you want to go now? Uh, if we're going to look at coach and Levi's I think yeah I want to look in coach see if they had any coach bags I wanted to try on that white one if they had it um, as you can see it feels like we're in you said if it's a sunny day I feel like was in Florida in the previous yeah in the actually. like Florida America Aliens, that's what it feels like so yeah I'll carry on taking you around <laughs> vlog here now we've just had a really nice five guys yeah. having a yeah. mocha to warm up yeah, it's so we're gonna have the chocolate chip latte, latte but they had none of them in, oh yeah so. there was a new chocolate chip latte that there wasn't any then um so yeah, i was gonna end the vlog here now i hope you've liked this week's weekly vlog we definitely want to come back here because it's also yeah. a dog friendly center um which is really good a lot of the shops you can take your dogs in so, so hugo and other fields so we yeah, can bring hugo exploring. he's quite a social dog so he likes to literally just come with us i generally feel like i've been on holiday i know lockdown so i don't feel like i've come out on holiday yeah it's generally. really really nice here so yeah if you have liked this vlog guys then make sure you give this video sorry my mask is riding off a nice big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe as well and i'll see you on the next vlog bye guys bye.